Okay, thank you for spending your time to be on this uh, channel as we bring you latest coming from Nigeria. And it's all about the AFCC, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. And so much has been happening concerning this commission set up to fight crime. So we offer you the latest concerning the acting chairman, Ibrahim Mago, who was arrested on Monday, July 6, 2020, by the, the Directorate of Secret Service owing to issue concerning corruption. Before we go ahead, so just press the button by subscribing to this channel for more stories. And let's go straight to the news for today. Ibrahim Mango, the acting chairman of the EFCC, we heard has been suspended by the presidency. Yes, he has been suspended by the presidency. He will be leaving that position after staying five years on the job. On Monday, July 6, he was arrested and taken to face a panel set up to look at the activities of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. And this will not be the first time the Caesar, who has been taken on the high and the mighty in his fight against corruption, has caught controversies. But this one is actually concerning an issue on asset recovered by the EFCC. It's impromptu invitation on Monday, July 6 to appear before a presidential panel that reviewed the agency's activities seems to be the last straw that broke the camel's back in Mango's strive to overcome all challenges concerning his job. Is someone is believed to have been the result of a recent petition from the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, who accused him of 22 weighty corruption allegations, which include sabotage, unauthorized removal of EFCC files, and act unbecoming of a police officer. This action will no doubt create a very big hole in President Buhari's administration to fight corruption to the barest minimum. Meanwhile, Nigerians have been confused on what could happen next as cases of corruption have been all over the country. But will Ibrahim Magu survive this onslaught by his drivers in the presidency? we we'll wait to see and we'll bring you more updates concerning uh, this. If he doesn't survive, that means he will be going the way of his predecessor, Nuhu Nirbadu, Farida Waziri and Ibrahim Malamode, who were also disgraced out of office. And now he has become the hunter being hunted. What do you think about this? Share your thoughts, your comments, your observations and your opinion on this comment section of this page. And trust us to bring you news as it unfolds. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thanks for your time and we'll bring you more as things unfold.